All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm Ginger Ale, and today we're going to continue playing Inquisition. Um, I think we're going to head immediately to Vivian's salon so that we can recruit her because I like Vivian. Well, I like her attitude. I don't really like her as a person. But I can't ever really deny companions. I love my companions. It makes me feel popular. <laughs> Vivian and I kind of have a love-hate relationship in every other game that I've played of this. The music in this game is amazing. I love the music in this game. Lady Trevelyan of Ostwick, representing the Inquisition. What a pleasure to meet you, my lady. Seeing the same faces at every event becomes so tiresome. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer, or are you here for Duke Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. I've heard very little about Duke Bastien. He hasn't been seen much at court lately. His business with the Council of Heralds often takes him from home for long periods. It can't be good for a man of his years. And of course, there's the civil war. Bastien probably wishes to distance himself from the actions of his one-time son-in-law. Tearing up the Dales in a foolish bid for power? It will end in disgrace for Gaspar. Everyone knows it. What have you heard about me? Some say that when the veil opened, Andraste herself delivered you from the fate. I'm not familiar with that name. I was invited here by First Enchanter Vivienne. Madame de Fer is a fond nickname the court has given Lady Vivienne. I've heard she finds it amusing. Some of those storytellers may have gotten carried away. But only for the best effect. The Inquisition is a ripe subject for wild tales. What is that thing on her neck? The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. Please. The Inquisition is working to restore peace and order to Thedas. Here comes the Outsider, restoring peace with an army. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a woman of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? My lady, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? The Marquis doesn't interest me. Do whatever you like with him. Poor Marquis. Issuing challenges and hurling insults like some Ferelden's <coughs> dog. <-lord. coughs> and all dressed up in your Aunt Solange's doublet. <laughs> Didn't she give you that to wear to the Grand Tourney? To think all the brave chevaliers who will be competing left for Markham this morning. And you're still here. Were you hoping to sate your damaged pride by defeating the Herald of Andraste in a public duel? Or did you think her blade could put an end to the misery of your failure? Oh, 
She is amazing. Run along, my dear. Do give my regards to your aunt. All hail Queen Vivian. I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Montsimard and enchantress to the Imperial Court. Is that Marquis going to pose a problem? His aunt is the Vicomtesse of Mont de Glace. Not a powerful family, but well respected and very devout. Alphonse will be disowned for this. It's not the first time he's brought his aunt disgrace, but I'm sure it'll be the last. And after such a public humiliation, I expect he'll run off to the Dales to join the Empress's war effort. Either to make a good end, or to win back a modicum of self-respect. Your salon has certainly exceeded my expectations so far. I'm glad to keep you entertained, my dear. I wanted to meet face to face. It is important to consider one's connections carefully. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. <laughs> what exactly can you do for the Inquisition? I am well versed in the politics of the Orlesian Empire. I know every member of the Imperial Court personally. I have all the resources remaining to the Circle at my disposal. And I am a mage of no small talent. Will that do? What's in this for you? The same thing anyone gets by fighting this chaos. The chance to meet my enemy, to decide my fate. I won't wait quietly for destruction. Are you devout? What's your opinion of the Chantry? I was a great admirer of the late divine Justinia V. The Chantry, at its best, unites the disparate cultures of Thedas and looks after its most vulnerable. Had she lived, Justinia could have accomplished so much. What exactly can you do for the Inquisition? I am well versed in the politics of the Orlesian Empire. I know every member of the Imperial Court personally. I have all the resources remaining to the Circle at my disposal. And I am a mage of no small talent. Will that do? The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. screens boop, 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 boop. You traveled some distance to reach Haven. You're from the circle in Oswick. I won't. It's exciting being away from that life, being somewhere new. Maybe that's selfish, given what's happened. No, it's only fair, I suppose. We are grateful for your assistance. I'd like to know more about the Templars. If you need insight into what the Order is doing now, I'm afraid I can't offer more than you already know. Anything else, I will answer as best I can. What does Templar training involve? 
There is weapon and combat training. Even without their abilities, Templars are among the best warriors in Thalus. Initiates must also memorize portions of the Chant of Light, study history, and improve their mental focus. Did you enjoy your training? to learn everything. If I was giving my life to this, I would be the best Templar I could. You were a model student. <laughs> I wanted to be. I wasn't always successful. Watching a candle burn down while reciting the chant of transfigurations wasn't the most exciting task. I admit, my mind sometimes wandered. Do Templars take vows? I swear to the Maker to watch all the mages. That sort of thing. <laughs> There's a vigil. Tactfully put. You're meant Trevelyan. to be at peace during that time, but your life is about to change. When it's over, you give yourself to a life of service. That's when you're given the filter, your first draft of Lyrian and its power. As Templars, we are not to seek wealth or acknowledgement. Our lives belong to the Maker and the path we have chosen. Yes. A life of service and sacrifice. Are Templars also expected to give up physical temptations? Physical? Why... <laughs> Why would you? That's not expected. Templars can marry. I love watching him squirm. But the order must grant permission. Some may choose to give up more for their devotion, but it's not required. Have you? Me? I um uh, no. I've taken no such vow. Make his breath. Can we speak of something else? Oh. I love torturing you. Prior to the Conclave, I'd only encountered Templars in the Circle. Do they do anything besides guard mages? Templars protect against the dangers of magic. Before the Order left the Chantry, that meant serving in a Circle. They were also tasked with tracking apostates, or fighting demons never to be summoned by the weak or malicious. What do you think of mages? Are they all a threat? Seen the suffering magic can inflict. I've treated mages with distrust because of it. At times without cause. That was unworthy of me. I will try not to do so. Though. Not that I want mages moving through our base completely unchecked. We need safeguards in place to protect people, including mages, from possession of the beast. Why did you join the Order? I could think of no better calling than to protect those in need. I used to beg the Templars as our local chantry to teach me. At first, they merely humored me. I must have shown promise, or at least a willingness to learn. The night captain spoke to my parents on my behalf. They agreed to send me for training. I was 13 when I left home. 13? That's still so young. I wasn't the youngest there. Some children are promised to the order at infancy. Still, I didn't take on full responsibilities until I was 18. The Order sees you trained and educated first. And what about your family? Did you miss them? Of course. But there were many my age who felt the same. We learned to look out for one another. I know how I spent my time in the Circle. But what was a typical day for a Templar? <laughs> typical? The last time I was in a Circle was right before it fell apart. Nothing was typical. Before that, then? Certain rituals require a full guard. A mage's howling, for instance. I've attended a few. Most of the time, you merely maintain a presence, on patrol or in the circle, ready to respond if needed. Mages pretend to ignore that presence, but they're watching you just as closely. We would spend all day with Templars, and yet they rarely spoke to us. A habit often mistaken for coldness, I'm sure. But we are expected to keep a certain distance from our charges. If a mage is possessed or uses blood magic, you must act quickly, without hesitation. Your judgment cannot be clouded. Of course, ignoring one another does nothing to foster understanding. That's all I wanted to know. Thank you. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. It occurs to me I don't actually know much about you. What do you want to know? I'm... Not sure. Where are you from? 
The Circle of Magi at Ostwick. At least until the rebellion began. Yes, I suppose that would have required you to stay on the move. Tell me, do you consider the Free March as your home? Are you eager to go back? Oh. I feel like she was one of those nobles that hated being noble, so I'm gonna do that. If I ever go back, it will be too soon. Really? That is good to know, I suppose. I'd like to get to know you better. You would? Is that a problem? Not entirely. I'm just curious as to your motivation. <laughs> no motivation beyond making things between us less... Antagonistic? Exactly. As you wish. My name is Cassandra Pentecost, daughter of the Royal House of Navarra, 78th in line for the Navarran throne. I joined the Seekers of Truth as a young woman and was with the Order until they withdrew from the Chantry. I remained as the Divine's right hand, carrying out her order to form the Inquisition. And here we are. That's all there is to know, my lady. You're a member of Navarra's royal family. The Pentagasts are a very large clan. Half of Cumberland could say the same. Really? No, but it feels that way. I have hundreds of relatives so distant they need charts to prove we're related at all. And they have them. <laughs> oh, yes. The Pentagasts value their precious blood like it runs with gold. And you joined the Seekers to get away from that? It was a life worth getting away from. The Pentagasts are famed for dragon hunting, but few actually pursue the craft. Most are fat and lazy. They pay lip service to the Maker and care only for idle pleasures and past glories. My brother was all that kept me in Navarra. Once he was gone, so was I. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your brother. I would prefer not to speak of Antony. Another time, perhaps. You don't seem to like your homeland much. My family polluted it for me. What little I saw of my homeland was through the bars of a gilded cage. My uncle treated me like a porcelain doll to be placed on a shelf and dusted only when necessary. Thus, I did not see Navarra, the real Navarra, until much later. By then, I realized I knew it not at all. Your uncle? What about your parents? They had the misfortune of taking the wrong side in the second attempt to overthrow King Marcus. The king executed them, but spared my brother and I since we were family and children at the time. Thus we were raised by my uncle, a mortaletasi who preferred the company of his corpses to the living. Your uncle was a mortaletasi? A death mage. He still is. My countrymen Sounds do fun. not burn the dead, they bury them in special crypts. The Mortalitasi supervise the crypts, like priests. Uncle Vestalis oversees the Grand Necropolis. Nevarans spend more time honoring dead relatives than they do with living ones. It is odd to be so fascinated with death and its trappings. I will never understand it. So you are the right hand to the Divine? To Divine Justinia, yes. And Divine Beatrix before her, in fact. The position is normally reserved for Templars of the Knights Divine. But my circumstances were unusual. Unusual how? You don't know the story? Thank the Maker. I will tell you if you wish. But it isn't as exciting as some drum it up to be. The short version is that I once saved the previous Divine's life. My reward was becoming her right hand. But what does a right hand do, exactly? What is your hand capable of? It gives, it takes, it beckons. It makes a fist. Liliana and I extended the Divine's reach beyond the Grand Cathedral. We went where she could not. After Beatrix, I was tired of the position and wanted to return to the Seekers. But Justinia convinced me to stay. 
Her vision for the future gave me hope. You thought she could really change things? Justinian knew the war was coming long before it began. She tried to avert it, but the forces arrayed against her were too strong. Sometimes you have to break a bone so it can be reset. That's where the Inquisition comes in. It was to be the answer. A means to preserve as well as an agent for change. I only wish she had lived to see it. I'll let you get back to work. All right. Let's go continue making friends. Ooh. It froze. Okay. It's still so pretty. We almost don't want to close it. And you've seen no sign. So, this is it, huh? Oh no, it's fine, yeah? It's just, I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> that would have been hilarious if you were a man, right? <laughs> Wasted. Anyway, stopping wars should earn more sovereigns than this. Need things back to normal for coins to be flowing again. Another reason the Templars and Mages need to be sat down. It's not just a war between those two. Well, sure, the sky has a hole in it. But I can't put an arrow in that. Well, I have. Doesn't come down. That's weird. And that's <laughs> the point, right? It's weird and right there. But they still want to punch each other. They're too busy to look up where the real questions are. That's why we're here. To help guide everyone back from the brink. The religious ones tell you that. That's important, right? But don't make it all about that. Seems like believing too hard is what got everyone here. And here is stupid. And smells of horse. Really, what everyone needs is to get everything back to normal and proper and profitable. Sound good to you, all touched Lady Herald? I'm committed to putting an end to this crisis. Whatever it takes. It's why I'm here, yeah? This is where it gets done, whatever it is. Can't do a bloody thing with everyone pissing themselves. Stupid everyone. Chasing the Lord Seeker, I hear. Anyone who thinks they need Lord in front of the name, that's bad. Bet he's got a portrait taller than he is. That's your first clue to a total art. <laughs> Facts. Tell me about yourself. What about me? You're skilled. Who taught you how to use a bow? No one. That seems unlikely. What? I picked it up here and there. Mostly it just makes sense. It's not like that for you. Oh, certainly. Not a day's effort for the naturally gifted like us. Well, it's not like that. It takes work. A bit. Not like Cullen and his pets. I mean, you miss, then you don't. Is it that hard to see when it's wrong? Is it an elf thing? <laughs> Most I know couldn't find an arrow sitting on it. Right. Maybe I just make it look easy and shite company. Fact still is, no teacher. Where would I find one in alleyways, anyway? <laughs> How about the basics? Where are you from? Ferelden. I got that from the accent. Where in Ferelden? All over? Okay, fine. Denimum for a bit. South, north, wherever I want. There are no connections you want to mention at all? Nope. It's complicated. I don't like complicated. Let's leave it at that. Maybe. You're not like most of the elves I've met. Thanks, right? Or was that an insult? I suppose I could go barefoot and whine more. <laughs> like that's soulless, right? Never be as good as we were. Well, who's we? I'm just fine. I think there's more to it than that. A few thousand years more. Hey, someone wants to be angry about old debts, be angry. 
be a terror that never lets an enemy forget. But if you're digging it up so you can wear it, that's just weird. I mean, the Dalish don't really know. They have stories, but that's all they are. It's all fancy dress, not history. We'll talk later. If you say so. It's good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses, as well as the capital. At least we know how to approach the mages and Templars now. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the order somewhere, but to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the mages in Redcliffe instead. You think the Mage Rebellion is more united? It could be ten times worse. Or you could stop bickering and make a decision. I agree. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The Mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. You think the invitation could be some kind of trap? If some among the rebel Mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. Hmm. So you're telling me this because the others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't, then there may be more going on than we thought. I think that's a good place to stop for the night so we're gonna end it here and when we come back uh, we'll probably go and meet Blackwall and maybe work on building up some power for the next mission so if you like the video please like and subscribe and as always have a wonderful day